Good evening and welcome to this very special edition of Instant Replay. Tonight, we are taking you back in time. Matter of fact, we're gonna go back 40 years. That's when fortunately I was able to start here at KSAT 12. So we're gonna look back at some of the great times we've had, especially here on Instant Replay. Matter of fact, take you back in time. This is what we used to put all our stories on. We used to have stacks of tapes right here. And that's what all the video showed up on, on Instant Replay. Now, we got all these fancy computers. My oh my, how times have changed. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Instant Replay. It is the way it was meant to be. And for those of you who have been watching Instant Replay for a while, you may remember this. We used to start the show walking down these steps and the key was to remember what you were gonna talk about as far as the show and what we were gonna see in that edition of Instant Replay without falling on your face. Whew. Man, 40 years will do it to you. Whew. Sears. David Sears is beyond disgusting. This week's scholar athlete is Tracy. Tracy? She's been named to the Oh golly. Yeah. This week's scholar athlete is Tracy Guadawama. <laughs> of course, things will get even better in a couple weeks when the Oilers host the Cowboys in the Alamo Dome. Your father, former President George Bush, is a fan of the Houston Astros. <laughs> How does this thing work out? Well, he'll be a fan of the Rangers when we get in the World Series. He's got an opinion on just about everything, and it's usually not very flattering. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for Vinny Del Negro for being our live guest with us. Have a good week. We'll see you next week on Instant Replay. Rocking the suspenders. David Sears has been all over KSAT 12 for both sports and news. Four decades of dedication. And tonight, David is here for his final instant replay before signing off at the end of the week. David, I appreciate you taking some Man, time you. with us and coming back to IR. It's a blast it's, in the past for me as well. And it's, it's something else, man. I appreciate the invitation to come back. This is this is always this is always home right here. Absolutely, right. Instant replays. So, David, a lot of people do not know that you were a DJ when you first got into this career, and you started here at KSAT. So you went back and forth across the parking lot yep. working at KSAT and as a disc jockey. And I went back and forth across the parking lot because the station was right behind us. It was Kono Kitty back then, K I T Y ninety two nine, and then it went to Power ninety three. But the snack machine over here was better than what we had over there. So when I was doing the evening show, I think I did like the 7 to midnight at one time. So I'd come over here and get some snacks because they were a whole lot better than what we had over the, over the radio station. All right, so, so you got to give me some sort of David Sears radio voice. But, hey, you're listening to, come on, you can do it. This is a good afternoon. This is David Sears. It's 5.45, driving you home in the afternoon. A little Duran Duran for your trip to the house. Nice. All right, so you've been here at KSAT for 40 years. Wow. What was it like starting instant replay wow. from the ground up? It was, it was an adventure. It was something that, you know, we had talked about doing for, for several years. And then it, it became reality. It was, it was kind of strange at the very beginning. We had our bumps and bruises. We had our ups sure. and downs, some, you know, technical difficulties, some things. But we finally got it all ironed out after we started in March of 1993. Okay. And I think by April or May, we, we were rolling. You're rolling. And we, 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 we set the tone and we set the bar for, for everybody in town. Cause, and, and we always were right at the top. And, and beyond that. So it was, uh, it's, been a, it's been a great run on this to replay, I'm gonna tell you that. When you see Ooh. these videos running Ooh. here, you, you know, doing instant replay stuff in front of the old set like that, what do you think, man? I think I was young <laughs> and had hair, and did you check out the style? Did you check out, you know, yeah, the, look at the, that. the collarless shirt buttoned up, and look at you all cool right there leaning yeah, you know leaning, yeah you. it was you know that was just such the technology was just it looks so old that <laughs> compared to what we do now but it was a blast so you've interviewed a lot of people mm -hmm. over the decades from george bush to Shaq and charles barkley but do you have one person that stands that's, above them all that's a tough question that is a tough question because we're you know sports is a mix of of entertainers and politicians mm -hmm. and athletes so you know there's there's George W. Bush before he was even governor yeah. of the state of Texas and went on to be the president. So, you know, Bob Hope and George Strait and, and Shaq and, of course, all the Spurs throughout all these years yep. and the Cowboys. I mean, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one one guy. It, it really is. Or, or one lady. We got to interview a lot of folks along the way. And, and it, it was it was always fun. Always. He, always. Was, he was always interested. A lot of fun so, for sure. Yeah. Okay, Larry, hold on just a second. I think I got it. <laughs> okay. I, I got it. Remember a guy named Dennis Rodman? I do. Played for the Spurs? Yep. Okay, when he came to San Antonio, 
Greg Simmons, who was doing instant replay then, used to always send a limo out to pick up all the guests to make sure that they would actually get here and be live on instant replay. <laughs> it's a good they idea. Want to take a chance. Yeah. So when Dennis Rodman came to town, he made me get in the limo and go to the hotel to make sure Dennis got in the limo. He got in the limo with his girlfriend, and we all came back down to instant replay together, and it was one of the strangest rides, as you can very well imagine. It was me, Dennis Rodman, and Dennis Rodman's girlfriend at the time. And I don't remember very in-depth, deep conversations okay, in that okay. limo ride. But he was staying at Hotel Up on 410, so it was, a, it was thankfully a very quick ride. But it was... It was so it was mainly a quiet ride? It was a quiet ride. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. you know, okay. Just the usual, welcome to San Antonio okay. kind of thing, you know. So you got him in the limo and you got him here to the station. Got him here. All right. Got him here. Job well done, David. <laughs> We're definitely not done with you yet. Stick around with us, David. Up next on Instant Replay. After warming up and stretching, it was time to step in the batting cage and show some power. <laughs> David, uh, he's a little tight right now. His swing's looking a little tight and a little slow. I think if he uh, takes batting practice every day for two or three years, he might be able to get that swing down, maybe get himself a few knocks. We have much more of Sears signing off David's final instant replay. We'll be right back. We here at KSAT 12 couldn't be happier to have Andy Kalu as part of our sports department. Hey, how about those Spurs? Take on the Magic tonight in my... <laughs> come back here, come back here. Hey, Ursula, how you doing? Come back here. Ouch. Wow. Welcome back. Time to look at some of the crazy clips from David over the years with Instant Replay. David, let's check out some of the raw clips from that shoot from former Marshall Ram great Indy Clue stopped by to be our KSAT office linebacker. Wow. This is for ratings. You can't be making those kind of mistakes. Bring your A game and leave that B game at home. Okay, bye. <laughs> Reality TV. That's pretty funny stuff. <laughs> They win. <laughs> Reality TV, that's pretty funny stuff. <laughs> Man, David, what was that like? I mean, Getting look at it. Like multiple times that day by ND Kalu. Needed to go to the uh, trainer. <laughs> get some bruises fixed and get some. Check it out. Look, look, look at you, him. Are you still feeling yeah. the pain from that? When you see that, it, it still hurts. All right. I mean, he could hit. <laughs> That's why he was in the NFL, because he could hit. No doubt. All right, David. There is one clip that we all enjoy, but we know it gets under your skin sometimes. Let's take a look at the stand-up David did for his story with Jesse James Leha. While James spends seven weeks in Corpus Christi training for another world... Nah. God. While James spends seven weeks in Corpus Christi working on training... Why would I say... Family is never far away. Even here in San Antonio, they serve as his daily inspiration. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. David, not too long ago, Leha and his son did a reshoot of that moment with Leha trying to do his stand-up and his son jumping in at the end. You had to love that, right? Oh, yeah. That was great stuff. Matter of fact, about a month ago, I saw both of them. Oh, yeah? They were at a, they were at a gym where I was, and... Man, his son is huge, but they, they remember that moment. And it's like, they remind me that they remember that moment. It was like, that was just, that was something else. What okay. a cute little kid he was. So there. I've heard different numbers. How many takes did it take you? Do you know? Well, that was the third one, and I got oh, it. Oh, it just was the third? Okay, so people are feeding me bigger numbers. My, my, like my. Mark feeding me bigger numbers, yeah. So you like to play golf. Uh -huh. Our own Dave Tarr found this old package about a pro-am in town. Not sure you remember this, but here's a clip from that story. Okay. You know, you're going to have to hit it that pretty good. You've got to hit, see where those two things are right there? You've got to hit back there. You do a lot of praying when you get those kind. Of course, there are some of us amateurs who might do better getting a few hunting tips rather than golfing tips. Hey, at least I didn't lose it. This <laughs> All right, please tell us wow. your golf game has gotten better than it's that, got a David. little better. Not, not much, but not it's much, got a little, little bit better. 
All right, David, now you and Shauna Elliott have a good friendship. You even play golf together, right? Yeah, and he likes colored on my photos, too, as, as we saw the other day. So, yeah, so this was, a, this was before, like, before a playoff okay. run, and he was, like, showing me how to hit golf balls off of a mat, like, right there in his backyard. So he's, he had, like, a little, little green back there, so we used to play golf. But we'd go out to different courses around town and play. He could hit it. Okay. The guy could flat out hit it. Unfortunately for Sean, sometimes his eight iron went as far as his driver, but you know, that's, that's my, that, yeah, see, I got, got him back right there for, the, for that, but he was, he was a great guy. All right, so when you guys golf, uh -huh. who wins more often than he not? He did. Oh, really? Did you ever beat him? I, not, if I did, it won, won very often. Okay. Won very often. Okay. So, well, we know Sean Elliott loves to play around, loves yeah. to, you know, prank us and stuff. Uh, what can you say about your friendship with Sean? Because we all know San Antonio fans would love him. You know, since he got here, he was, he was such a great guy, always accessible. He was the last guy out of the locker room, though. If you wanted to interview Sean at the end of a game, you just, like, took a seat and waited. Like, he'll get here in a minute. And he, was, he took the slowest showers and the slowest time <laughs> to get clothes back on and slowest time to get out of the locker room. It's like, man, you know, Sean. <laughs> right. And he'd eventually show up, but he stood there and did all the Yeah, he was a great guy. He was, he was one of the best Spurs of all time right there. So. Very cool. Thank you for sharing that, David. We are not done with you yet. One last edition of the Press Box. Stay with us. We'll be right back as Sears signs off from KSAT 12. <laughs> that are unpredictable. They say things that make you laugh, leave your jaw dropped on the floor. You take the cute out of it. It's like giving David a mic. Oh, you know I don't know what I'll say tomorrow. It's probably very different from what I'll say from tonight. I am the evil waffle king. Time now for the press box. David, before you sign off in sports for the final time, All right. answer these questions first. Okay. With Wimby, how soon do you think the Spurs can compete for an NBA championship? Two years from now. This year they'll be in the playoffs, and then next year they'll be competing for the championship. I like that prediction. Yeah. All right, who will win a Super Bowl <laughs> next? The Cowboys? Ooh. Or Texans. I've said this a thousand times. As long as Dak Prescott is the quarterback, that means the Texans will probably win a Super Bowl before the Cowboys do with C.J. Stroud. That kid can play. And I agree. I think the that, Texans yeah. are going to get it yeah. at first. All right. Who wins the rematch this fall? The Longhorns or Aggies? Their Ooh. first football matchup, David, since 2011. It's going to be a great game. <laughs> You want me to go cool. down that road? Yes, the come the on, come this? on, yes. Um, I, you got to pick know, one. The way the Longhorns are building up this team, I think they probably got a pretty good chance. And, you know, it's, it's, it's their first time in the SEC, so they'll probably win some games they shouldn't win. Okay. I don't know how deep they'll go, but it, this one is in College Station, though. And if, if George Strait can draw 110,000 people for a concert in College Station, you figure the, the Longhorns will, will draw that many yeah. anti-Longhorn people. So, yeah. you know, it's going to be a very interesting game. But uh, I would go with the Aggies since they're playing in College Station. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. look at that. See, I'm going to go with UT. I think okay. Texas is right, going to win too. this. All right. All right, David, as we wrap things up, thank you for everything you did in sports and in news over the years here at KSAT 12. We're going to miss you. We really thank are. You. So, David... Do you have one last message before you blow out <laughs> the candle and you can well, give us the message as I Thanks to you for this. inviting me and you saw some clips of Greg Simmons who uh, helped me along the way for, for many, many years. Yes. And Daniel Villanueva, our producer back there, didn't get a whole lot of credit, but without him we would have no instant replay. This is true. I wouldn't have been able to do what, what I could do. I think he's the longest running producer of this show, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And of course, all the photographers that bust their tail and go out and get all the video for us. Yep. And a special thanks to Mark Mendez. Come on, you come out here, Mark. Yes, Let's come here. out here, come on. Come here. Mark and I covered the Spurs together for at least, what, 14, 15, 15 years? years yeah. There was yeah. times when we were together more than we were with our families yep. because the Spurs yep. were making that run through the, through the 99 and then 3, 5, 7, and then 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. So we spent, we spent a lot of time together. My wife even said one time, you all sound like an old married couple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're old yes. <laughs> we're going at each other. But we had a great time. And I tell you what, that, that, this guy did, did a great job. Yep. He did a great job. He, he made me look good on TV. And if he didn't, then he heard about it. So, <laughs> no, hard. it was great. So, and so without all, all the guys behind the scenes, 
we wouldn't be here. So Absolutely. I, I thank them to, from the bottom of my heart for everything that they've done for us. And, yep. and thank you. What a, what a great run we had. And I appreciate you. Absolutely. Man. Everything you guys did yes, in the sports for sure. department lives on, man. Yep. Y'all are doing a great you job. You got to candle the bar right. out, sir. How much time I got left? <laughs> you might take a one. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> wow. Thank y'all. And thank you for watching. Because if you don't watch, we don't work. So I appreciate y'all watching us over the, all these years. So, so God bless you. And thank you for, uh, for enjoying Instant Replay over the last, over the last few years. Yep. Appreciate it very much.